the state of broadband for 2018 uh, totally depends on where you live. In some areas, it's very, very good, and you may have a, a range to a, a whole um, dearth of digital services and apps and applications. You be, may be monitoring your health digitally these days. You may be monitoring your activity. Members of your family may be monitoring your activity <laughs> and location. Um, so in some areas, it's really very good. In other areas, it's considerably less so. Um, people have really very reduced access um, and may only be receiving SMS reminders and uh, or, or they may get online and simply not have an idea of where to go or where to look. I don't think we can underestimate the, the lack of familiarity uh, with what to look for. Uh, the reason why people spend a considerable proportion of time surfing entertainment is because it's the most readily available, they, they know the music they like and the familiar, but is this really the digital world we want to build? Uh, we want to enable more advanced services and literacy programs and apps to help people gain the basic skills that are so important to leading a rewarding life and to improving the future for your children. So uh, the state of broadband is incredibly diverse and varied. Still, I'm afraid, mainly determined by where you live and your level of income and access to education. Thank you.